Hello everyone, this is Professor Gant uh, with Math 1325, the online course at North Lake College. This video is going to serve as an eCampus tour to get you familiar with our eCampus course as well as how to navigate through it. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that you log into eCampus. So a um, simple way to do that is just as to type in ecampus.dccd.edu and then you get to this page here. So from there you go to access courses and then here if you're just um, logging into eCampus for the first time you want to go down here and you're going to see that you need to use your username and password as your student number with the E in front. Okay? And then from there it will prompt you to be able to come up with another password. For those of you that are already familiar with the system, you just need to put in your credentials and hit login. Of course, from that point, uh, this will be the landing page. And so uh, you may want to access your course this way. I normally go to the list of courses when I do this. And um, I'm going to click on this template here. So you'll see Math 1325, um, the section number and then of course uh, my last name but um, you'll just click on here so once we're in the first thing I want to call attention to is the announcements so please note that I am uh, recording this video for fall of 2016 um, this may be used in later semesters um, unless something changes this video will stay the same and the way that you see everything laid out will be the same so the first thing is the announcements. Um, I try not to put too much in here, but there are some things that I want you to be able to look at right away. So of course, this is the welcome email. Um, here is the textbook info. And so one of the things I do want to say about the textbook is that we are using the 13th edition of College Mathematics and that um, it is not necessary for you to get the textbook and the access code together. Um, if you just want to get just the access code from the bookstore uh, that may save you some money you can do that um, if you've watched the my labs plus tour video then you know that we have an electronic version of the textbook within that okay so I don't want you to think that you have to have the textbook and the access code um, together you can just get the access code alone so um, and you have to get the access code because without the access code you will not have access to uh, any of the assignments in the course okay so um, here is what the the due dates will be and of course these due dates um, serve as for fall of 2016 but of course these will change depending upon what semester it's in what I want to point out here is that if you notice there is a student profile survey that you need to do there are discussion board posts that are required as well as um, exams okay and so uh, we're going to talk more about the discussion board and the exams later. So for uh, temporary access, normally it is two weeks after the, the course begins or two weeks from the time that you actually register um, is the temporary access that you have. And so this is for people who um, may not have the resources right now to purchase the access code in our textbook. So um, you can give yourself two weeks to be able to do that so here are the review assignments um, for those of you that have watched the my labs plus tour video um, I mentioned that in the announcements we had uh, some extra credit going on for those review assignments and so this announcement talks about that the next announcement is the discussion board uh, participation requirement so um, I'm going to talk about where the discussion board is and how to participate and all that good stuff later. But for right now, um, if you see here, these are the, the the reason for this is the reason for the discussion board, as well as some of the rules. Okay, and so these are the main announcements uh, that I want you to see from now. Uh, periodically, I will be sending other announcements to you as the course goes on. Please make sure to check at least twice a week. Um, for any updates. All right, so now that we've uh, finished with the announcements, then of course we have the instructor info here. 
And so this will let you know um, what my contact info is as well as my office hours. So from there, what you want to do is go to the Start Here folder. And so uh, in the Start Here folder, these are the first items that you need to take care of for the semester. And so, um, of course, I'm letting you know for certification requirements what is required for me to actually certify you as actively participating in the course um, in accordance to what the federal government requires. And so uh, here, the student profile survey, uh, your course setup quiz, and you must complete at least one homework assignment, okay? Um, starting from section 10.1. The review assignments do not count since they're um, extra credit. The link to the student profile survey is here. Make sure that that is done. Um, your first day handout just gives you uh, basic information about the course, such as um, how to log into eCampus, as well as what the grade distribution is, the percentages there. Um, I advise you to print out this course checklist just to make sure that you hit everything uh, that you need to look at. Of course, your syllabus is here. Course calendar is here as well. And um, the ACGM course unit, blah, 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 blah. Um, that's something that I have to put in there, not something that you necessarily need to, to know or look at, but it has to be there. Um, one thing that I do want to talk about, though, is the WX option. And so for all online classes uh, in, within the math department that we have, we have a retention tool called a WX grade. And what that does is it says if, if you're not able to finish all the course, but you're able to finish at least a certain, uh, up to a certain point, then we will allow you to take the course again, pay for it again, but yet start where you left off. And so for our course, um, you have to have made at least a 70 or above and done all the homework for uh, the first two units. So that means everything up to exams one and two. And so if you were able to take advantage of this, then you would start off working on unit three. And then, of course, you do that and you take the final. Um, please check with your advisor to make sure if you are available um, to take advantage of a WX contract. Okay, and so a couple reasons for that. If you're an international student and you're taking this course, you're required to take at least 12 hours and taking a, a WX will not be acceptable, um, especially if you're on a, um, a student visa, because you have to get a grade of A, B, C, D or F. Um, the WX officially counts as a drop to the registrar. So that's one of the reasons why. Um, if you're an international student, you may not be able to take advantage of this. Um, if you're in a situation where you've dropped too many credit classes, know that if you drop this, um, your tuition may go up. So that's something else that you may want to consider as well. Um, I recommend that you only use the WX option in extreme circumstances where you're like, hey, I just got a lot on my plate. I know I can get this much done, but I can't get anything else done. Uh, I would I would do that. But other than cases like that, um, I would probably try to just budget my time and do what I need to do to uh, finish out the course in the same semester. OK. All right. And so um, here, um, hopefully we'll never have to use this, but this is a homework list just in case for some reason um, power goes out all over the world and uh, we have to revert back to normal textbooks, okay? <laughs> so I hope that doesn't happen. All right, so that is the Start Here folder. These next two folders that you see here are the Netiquette and Discussion Board. And so uh, the Netiquette folder here just basically gives the rules that you need to know uh, for us communicating online in, the, in Discussion Boards. And so <clears throat> if you remember in the Start Here folder, part of what you need to do is complete one of these assignments here. And so another thing I would like for you to do is to participate in a discussion board. And so uh, the purpose of the discussion board <clears throat> is so that you can share problems that you either know how to do or uh, ask people questions on here. Um, throughout the semester, I will be periodically checking these 
and I'll be adding in or chiming in to, to answer some of these questions if no one else does. Um, I'll also be adding in videos uh, that I think may be helpful to you as well that I've created. So um, please make sure that you take advantage of this. Um, it is required for you to do the discussion board. So I want to make sure that that, that is um, known. And so you'll see in your syllabus that uh, you have a certain percentage grade assigned to that. And so there are certain dates that you have to hit to where uh, you have to have at least posted one video of you working a problem or you've asked two questions, two separate questions from someone and you've responded to help someone else answer their questions and need at least two responses from there. Um, or you've worked out two problems and you've uh, scanned the information and uploaded it to the discussion board. And so uh, you can read the syllabus for details, but in a nutshell, that's what I'm looking for um, at those certain due dates. And of course, um, I would like for you to come in and introduce yourself as well during the, the, the first week or so of the course. All right, so moving on here, the next thing that we want to talk about is the notes, homework, and SLOs. And so if you notice here we have 16 weeks of folders, and each week kind of tells you what you need to work on if you want to be on pace. So, of course, here we have uh, course introductions. Um, this is a link to the notes that I have, and so these, uh, most of these notes are handwritten notes that I've done. Okay. And of course, uh, there are links to there as well. So this just says, hey, for the first week, just kind of get acclimated to everything. Um, do sections 10.1 and 10.2. If we, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and move forward here. Let's say if we're now in week four. Um, if you see we're starting to get close to the end of the unit, if you notice, you have a quiz here. And this is quiz number two. These quizzes are the same ones that end up right here. And so in your syllabus, when they talk about the eCampus quizzes, those are the ones that I'm talking about. Okay, So you can either access all of them right here, or you could just go through the weekly folders to do that. And if you notice, uh, the course setup quiz is one of the uh, quizzes that is required for you uh, to be able to get certification in the course okay all right so if we come up to let's say week five here you'll see that you have study study guide and you also have a practice exam um, that you can work on and so I want to make sure that this is clear to everyone because um, in the past I've had students who have taken the test and it seems like they didn't even look at the practice exam before they took the test so I want to make sure that everyone knows that, yes, you do have practice exams, um, so you can kind of get an idea of the kind of stuff that we're going to ask on an exam. Um, if we go to practice exams here, you'll see that here I have a practice exam, same thing as you saw in the weekly folders, but you also have a video that goes along with it. And, of course, I'm going to add videos for um, exams two and three. And um, if you're looking at this in later semesters, they will probably already be there. But, uh, of course, just want to let you know that the video is there as well. And so this is my way of trying to give you my perspective on answering these questions so that uh, you can have a, a holistic view on how to answer and uh, the understanding behind it as well. Okay. All right. So moving on to the professor lecture notes. These are the notes that you saw in the weekly folders, and they're linked. So if you just want to go directly here, I have all these notes already there. Um, if you have questions on problems in your homework, I suggest one of the first things that you do is go to the notes and see if you can get those questions answered. If you don't see what you're looking for there, then I would go to the discussion board. Um, of course, you can always email me as well. Uh, but if you email me, whatever it is that you ask me, I'm probably going to answer it in your email as well as on a discussion board as well. 
So um, if you just put it on the discussion board, then that keeps me from having to put it in two different places. So um, again, I, I would like for the discussion board to be the, the central hub for all questions so that we can all share with each other. Okay. All right. So uh, the SLO activities. These are the activities that are that correspond to the SLO quizzes that you see in My Labs Plus. And so if you watch that video, then you know what I'm talking about. So these activities need to be done. Um, I would prefer that you do them while you're working that particular unit, but they are not actually due until the end of the semester. Okay. Um, if you turn them in at the end of the semester, though, um, you will not have a chance to try to correct these if you do something wrong, with them, um, if you get something incorrect on them. So the earlier that you send these to me, the, the sooner I can give you feedback and I can actually give you a chance to uh, correct these to get a higher grade on. Again, your practice exams are right here, and you'll have practice exams for every exam, including the final exam. Um, your exam and test information. This gives you information about how to actually go into uh, get ready to take an exam, whether you're going to take it at home um, using the Respondus uh, lockdown browser or if you're going to take it in the North Lake Testing Center. So you may want to check this information out. The unit exams place is where you go to be able to actually access the exams if you're going to take it using the Respondus uh, lockdown browser. Um, if you don't know what that is or if you're unsure on how to get the, the Respondus Lockdown Browser on your computer, please look at the videos that I have created on that. Okay? So you should, uh, you should be able to see those in the exam test information as well. And so um, this is where you will go to actually access your exams. Um, the cover sheet that you see here, you're going to need to have that with each exam that you take. Um, this is a practice version, um, not something that you need to turn in, but it's just a practice version just to make sure that when you are initially trying to get respondents on your computer that everything is working the way that it should. Okay, So this is exam one and how this will work is you'll click on this, you'll access the exam um, and it will be a PDF file the PDF file will not be able to be printed. You won't be able to do any screenshots on it. You just look at it. You're going to write down your work on your own paper and make sure that it's nice, neat, and legible. Um, and then you're going to take that along with the cover sheet that you have here. Um, you're going to fill all that out, scan it to me as one single PDF document, and then upload it here. And so once all that's done, you'll just come here and upload it and then of course pick the pick your file upload it and you're done and so um, I'll get a notification letting me know that you've uploaded that test into the grade book and it should be graded within um, seven probably at most ten business days after you do it depending upon how busy the semester gets alright so for those of you that um, may end up not doing so well on either the first exam or the second exam and uh, you want to be able to earn the right to retake then you would come here to exam retake submissions to be able to submit your work to be able to have the right to retake and so to be able to retake an exam the first thing that you have to do is, uh, is do exam corrections the second thing that you have to do is uh, have to submit the practice exam worked out all over again okay and so uh, the point here is to try to make sure that if you didn't do enough work the first time to grasp the concepts I want to make sure that it's done the next time please note that you can only retake either exam one or exam two so you have to make a choice okay and there are due dates for when you can um, retake exam one or exam two you cannot do both either exam one or exam two and so when when we uh, get to that point and if you're in this situation then you'll know this is where you need to go to submit your work 
And so once this work is submitted, then I will approve you to be able to take the, uh, the retake exam. And of course, uh, the retake exam is also within the union exams respondents area. Okay. So here, this is the, the retake. Now, for those of you that are going to take the exam at a North Lake testing center, then instead of coming um, to unit exams responders, you want to go to the community. And so I'm, I've gone over this in, in another video in the exam test information area. But um, essentially what you'll do is just come here to um, the testing community for Math 1325, and then you'll click on online testing here. And then you'll see uh, the same thing. Okay, so you'll click on here, go to exams, and you'll see all the exams listed, and you'll just go from there. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go back to where we were. And so now, um, all that we need to talk about now is, of course, going to My Grades. This is where you go to check um, all your grades in the course. Um, the how do I, this is the, the area where um, if you have any questions about anything, check that out first to see if, if that question can be answered from that information. Um, if not, then of course, you can uh, always email me. And of course, if you forget the link to My Labs Plus, um, you can always come here. And of course, we have some, some other um, web links and tools or whatnot that you can use. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about is the NLC Student Services. So in here we have links to a lot of different um, things that go on in our college. So if you can see financial aid, the bookstore, um, police campus and safety, uh, student resources, uh, veteran affairs. So if you're wanting to get any information about that, this is a good place uh, to try to go to see if you can find a quick link there. And I'm saying that because I know on our website, um, the, the search engine is not too great. So um, I think this is a better way to kind of get to what it is that you need to get to, okay? All right, so uh, with that being said, this completes the tour of eCampus so that you know how the course is laid out, where all the important things are, and uh, the stuff that I'm looking at for you to do. Um, please make sure that you go over the syllabus, which is in the start here area. Please make sure that you go over that carefully. Okay. All right. And with that being said, this concludes this video. Thanks for watching.